Hi friends, welcome. Today's we see Who Will Cry When You Die, written by Robin Sharma, Chapter Number Seventy One. Stop condemning. Like the voice of complaining discussed earlier, it is easy to fall into the habit of condemning others, even those we love most. We criticize the way someone eats or the manner in which he speaks. We spokes on the most minute details and find fault. For the smaller up issues, but what we focus on grows, and if we keep focusing a small weakness in someone, it will continue to grow in our minds until we perceive it to be a big problem in that person. Would you really want to live in a world where everyone looked, acted, thought exactly as you do? It would be a pretty boring place to live a happier, more peaceful. Life begins to see that the richness of your society comes from its diversity. What makes relationship, communities, and countries great are not the things that we have common, but the differences that makes us unique. Rather than looking for things to criticize in this around you, why not begin to respect the differences? Often we perceive in other. others the weakness we most need to address within ourselves stop blaming and condemning accept complete responsibility for the way things are and resolve to work on changing yourself before seeking the change others this is one of the truest measurements of a person of a strong character as erico jung said take your life into your own hands and what happens a terrible thing no one to blame thanks for watching this video